Last time we created code with YouTube Data API to search for cooking videos. Today I want to extract transcripts from those videos and use Gemini Pro to extract recipes from the transcript. So Gemini Pro is free or just limited to 60 queries per second, which is per perfectly fine. Let's go get our API key. Click on get API key. I already generated one. You can grab one yourself. Once you have one, go back to Colab. Click on the secrets panel. I already added the entry and it's called Gemini API key. Just put it here. Make sure you enable notebook access. To access this key, just use these two lines of code here, which I already have over here. Now let me grab the Gemini API key. Run this. To extract transcripts, I need to install this YouTube transcript API package. Unfortunately, the YouTube data API does not allow me to extract transcripts from videos that I don't own. So that's why we're using this package. Let's install it. Since this is Colab, Colab already have all of Google's libraries installed. But if you're not in Colab, you need to install this. Okay. Let me import the packages that I just installed. Right here, I'm going to pass my Gemini API key. I'm going to create the Gemini model. Okay, I'm going to skip past the function to search YouTube, display results from YouTube. Under here, I'm going to add the function to get transcripts from YouTube videos. I just need to pass in the video ID and the languages that I want to extract. The way this works is it's going to try to find the first one on my list, which is English. And if it doesn't find this one, it's going to try to find the next one, which is just English, but uh, US English this is UK English. So it kind of depends on the video, but most of the time it will be just EN. Once I have the transcript object, I need to use the YouTube transcript API's text formatter to convert the transcript into pure text. Let's try this out. Okay, I already have an ID. Let's pass that in, run it. Yes, I need to run these functions first. Okay, so we have the transcript. The next function I'm gonna add is the get AI extract function. It takes in a prompt and the text. The text is gonna be the transcript and the prompt is gonna be something like extract recipe from text. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm using a model to call the generate content function. And then I'm just concatenating the prompt with the text. This function also takes in a stream parameter like ChatGPT. If this is set to true, it will send back response in chunks. But since we don't need that kind of interactivity, I'll just turn it off. Within the response object, we have the text that it's generated and also some additional information on the prompt and also some alternative if the first response is not what you want. Okay, let me run this again. Let me try this out down here. Store the transcript, pass it into the AI model. It's going to send me my recipe. And then I'll just skip the other two parameters. Let's get the recipe. Cool, here it is. Okay, now I want to modify my display YouTube function. So after printing the video ID, the title, and embedding the video into this notebook, if I pass in a prompt, I want it to use the prompt to get the transcript and extract the recipe and also print it. Run it. Let me jump down to my search function. You can see from before that, depending on how long the video or how long the transcript is, it takes a little while for the AI to respond. So I'm gonna limit the max results to two and I'll pass in a prompt. Let's do it. Okay, one tomato with three eggs. Here's my video. Here's my ingredients and instructions. I can play the video if I want. And here's my second result and instructions nice and neatly laid out. Okay, so now we have a fast way of searching YouTube for cooking recipes and getting the ingredients and instructions up front.